Hi there, so welcome to the first video in the last section, okay, and uh, this is how we actually, you know, this is this is the preparation for, for taking the second step, for, for going up to step two. Now, obviously I've spoken about how we, we, we're trained to be consumers and that, that you know, that a better thing to do in my opinion, and, and because I've done it and I, <laughs> it's much better, trust me, is to, to, to take that step to being a creator. Now, the only way to do that is through marketing. Now, marketing, what is marketing? Marketing. Marketing. Now, we all know marketing as, as, as adverts, you know, stuff on the telly to get you to try and buy stuff. But marketing really is, uh, it's the act of changing beliefs Changing beliefs with the intent of a sale. Now, if that's the likes of Coca-Cola, that's just that's marketing to change you from believing that Pepsi is better than Coca-Cola to making you think that Coca-Cola is better than, than Pepsi with the intent of trying to sell you Coca-Cola. Now Marketing can be used for stuff that you're trying to sell as in physical products or information products, you know, stuff, stuff that you're actually giving out. But also it can be used just to change somebody's belief and just sell them on a new idea because ideas can be marketed as well. So what I'm doing on this is I'm marketing the idea of becoming a creator. And the way I do that is by pointing out the benefits to you of taking the leap to become a creator, which means you will have more free time so you can spend that with your friends and family doing what you want. Um, you won't be enslaved to a job to earn money, which means that you won't be doing something that you hate in exchange for a very small amount of money, okay? As a creator, you will, <laughs> you will feel passion come out of you that you've never felt before. I mean, one of the, one of the, one of the most surprising things that I found is for many years, I thought I wasn't creative. I thought that creation, being creative was sort of drawing and writing and, and uh, pottery and making stuff with your hands. Now, I'm crap at that, right? I can't draw. I mean, look, even my stick men are rubbish, right? Do you know what I mean? They're, they're rubbish. So I thought for a long time, because I couldn't draw, then I wasn't creative. But it wasn't until I started down this entrepreneurial road and I, when I, when I decided I was going to leave the hospitality trade and I was like, look, I've had enough of working for somebody else. I want to go find financial freedom for myself. And I knew it was possible because other people do it, Right. And all right, yeah, I, I did it the stupid way. I just packed my job in and went and, and did it, right? And I'm not suggesting you do the same thing. I mean, you can. It worked out for me in the end. I mean, in the end, it's not taken very long, maybe six or seven months. But I had enough money to last me that time. But once I started being creative, and this is, this is, this is the, what I'm the idea that I'm trying to get across, is most people have no idea how creative they are, just like I didn't, because... You've never been shown how to be creative. Now, creative is nothing more than letting your mind free. It's nothing, it's nothing more than unchaining your mind from the very small amount of information that you get in school. Because the information you get in school is learn this, repeat this, get good, you know, repeat it enough to get a good exam result. So if the, the better you can repeat what we're telling you, the better grade you'll get. So the better you repeat, the better you are at obeying orders, the better you are at being submissive and doing what we tell you, then we will give you a job that pays you more. And that's what we're told, right? So that's what we think. But, you know, there was no entrepreneur class at my school. There was no living your dream class. You know, there was no encouraging creativity class. All this is something I've learned within the last year, like at the most, and um, the truth is, once you start, it's, it's really, really, really addictive. 
Because once you start down the journey of becoming creative and you see that all of a sudden you have these ideas and you get them down on paper and you start working them out and you start building them, like this whole course, it's, it's all been a creative journey on my part. I mean, the fact that I'm stood here making these videos and standing up in front of people and telling them what I think. And 12 months ago, that would never have happened. It would never have happened. And it's, and it's happened so quickly because the more, the more creative you get, the more you let your creative juices flow, the more you open your mind, the more you free yourself from just what society thinks and tells you you should think and do. And the more you start to live by your own rules. I mean, don't you know, I don't go around punching people. I have one rule. I live by one rule, and that's do unto others what you would have done unto yourself. So if I don't like getting punched in the face, I don't punch people in the face. You know, it's, 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 it's simple. It's not difficult. If I don't want people to steal money from me, then I don't steal money from them. If I don't want people to lie to me, I don't lie to them. It's, you know, it's not a difficult way to live. But I, I've been set on fire with a passion that... I just, I, I can't contain, you know, sometimes I can't contain myself. I feel like, th th I feel like this body is too small for who I am now. You know, I'm full of energy. I'm full of life. I mean, you just ask my wife <laughs> how much I've changed. You know, I'm no longer that grumpy bugger who just came home from work and laid on the sofa with a beer. I'm now up and I'm about, let's do this. Let's go. Let's do the other. I've got this idea. This is great. Let's blah, 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 blah. You know, and, and that's what happens, which is why, which is why I market the idea of becoming a creator, of, of, of changing things in our system to make life better for other human beings. And because my life has changed so much that I want you to experience the same thing. And I know people say, oh, well, it's all right for you. I'm no different to anybody. I've got two arms, I drink water, I eat, I crap. You know, I, I have the same needs that you do. I get tired. I want to have sex. You know, I, I'm no different. So if I can do it, you can do it. It's just whether you want to do it or not. So this is, you know, we're now coming to the end of step one. And I'm going to start presenting to you what's going to happen in step two. So step two, we're going to start learning about marketing and changing beliefs and how you go about. Because if you, if, you, if you create something, you're going to have to sell it. But before you sell it, you need to market it. So you need to become adept at changing people's beliefs because let's say let's say marketing you 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 decide you want to I don't know do a course like this one yeah well you're going to have to get used to doing the marketing to others about how it's better to be a creator than a consumer and we're going to get into how you do that and it's not difficult it it really isn't difficult all it is is human psychology and we're not that difficult to understand. We all get moved by the same emotions. You know, we are emotive creatures. We are moved by emotion and then we justify with logic. You know, I could, I could logically try and sell becoming a creator to you by saying to you, by saying to you, you'll have more free time. You'll have more money. Um, you'll be in a better mood. And, uh, you know, the logical side of selling it to you. But that doesn't make you buy that doesn't make you buy the idea. What actually sells something is changing your belief. And the only way to change somebody's belief is to use emotion to do that. So it's not enough to tell you that being a creator will give you free time. It will give you free time. But how does that affect you emotionally? Well, you will feel freer. You will feel more passion. You will be on fire because you'll be doing what you love instead of being tied to a desk. So, you know, you will be sat on a beach drinking a piña colada or you will be climbing Mount Everest or you will be doing, you know, so it's that that you need to get across with the marketing to change the belief. It's the emotion. Marketing is all about emotion. This is the important thing. And it, you need to get in touch as well with, with your emotive side to be able to do that. So it's all about marketing. 
So that's what we're going to be looking at in, in, in step two, marketing and sales. And the next video, we're going to look at how you go about selling. OK, and then what you what you can sell. And um, then it's off to step two. OK, see you later. Bye bye.